Pleasant, good morning. Welcome to Transwest Truck Trailer RV here in Fedra, Colorado. It's yours truly, Marlon Bledman, one of your trick truck. I always keep mixing that up. One of your truck sales consultants here at this location. Just want to thank you guys for always tuning in. I mean, some of you guys have seen our videos over and over again, and the, the positive feedback we get from you guys is amazing. So, just want to thank you guys again. Um, today, right behind me, we have a 2016 Freightliner Summit Hauler Conversion M2106. The good thing about this unit is the mileage, um, the price, and of course, you are getting pretty much a brand new unit for 2016. Um, just below 3,000 miles. Um, some people ask about warranty, uh, transmission warranty is almost up. So at our location here at Trans Western Frederick, our finance department do offer warranties on those trucks. So with the price of this unit and a warranty on there, you will, you st you will still be saving a lot of money um, buying this unit than a brand new unit. But it's all about your preference. Um, I'm not here to sell you guys anything, but I'm just allowing you guys to understand the differences between this unit and purchasing a brand new unit from us. So we're gonna go over this unit, kind of show you some of the good things about this unit. Um, and of course, right now we are hooked up to a gooseneck trailer and you guys could see how a setup on that unit will look like. Um, so well, let's start off. From the outside, we're gonna go around and then we're gonna stop on the engine and then go inside and then kind of go over some of the stuff we have here. So as you're looking right now, guys, you are looking at, at a brownish color of the exterior. Um, we have a, a lot of people are interested in that unit just because of the color. It matches their fifth wheel hitch or the fifth wheel camper or a trailer they have around the same color. So again, it is a unique color for the market um, and of course if you guys are looking to use this for private use we already have a sticker on there saying private coach not for hire and then that just keeps you out of going into those weight stations and stuff um, because you're going to be using it privately um, we do have bigger tanks on the on this truck right now so that's another good point uh, we have an 80 gallon tank on either side instead of a 50 gallon in either side. So you have 160 gallons on this unit. Um, up here, on most of our units, most of the Freightliners, uh, you will get that silver uh, cap here. And this is for your engine block heater. And normally the black is for our trigger charger for our batteries. The batteries are located underneath this cap right here. So that just gives you a way to charge your batteries. And of course, if you decide to jump start your batteries, we do have studs located um, underneath the uh, or behind the uh, tire right here. So your negative is down here, your positive would be a little bit up here. You're looking at uh, our tires here. We have the Toyo tires, 265, 75R22.5s. And on all of our summit haulers, no matter what year it was, uh, we do have our auto balancers on there. So this one did come with that. The previous owner did buy this brand new, um, parked it indoors uh, majority of his life. Um, and again, with the mileage, he didn't drive it much. So this truck I haven't even broken into yet, like, you know, um, to for the 3000 miles being on there. Um, but we did run for a safety check on this vehicle. Uh, we did go through uh, changing all the oils, uh, making sure that vehicle is running um, the, the right way. Um, and even though it was sitting inside the storage, he did drive it regular just to make sure the engine is running. He did start it almost every week. Um, and again, like I said, this, this is pretty much brand new uh, if you're looking at it that way. So the only thing that's a little bit different compared to our newer trucks is the way the storage compartments are laid out. Uh, on this one, we only have two storage boxes, but on this one, this box is a little bit longer, the door. So you still have a lot of storage inside here. Um, it goes all the way in. And as you guys can see, we still have that airline system in here. So if you guys decide to put air in your tires or in your trailer, you have the supply here. 
dual tires in the back, same size at the front, 265, 75 R, 22.5s. We do have a step here to go into the bed. And of course, another storage box in the back. <clears throat> One thing I'd like to mention too is uh, some of the features on the back end of this truck. We do have a uh, rear air suspension on this one, so um, when you're backing into your trailer, you can release all the air um, in the back end. It will drop the, the back end of the truck a few inches. Um, that will allow you the capability not to jack your, um, your trailer up too high. It will just allow you to pretty much have the trailer at a good height and the truck will you know, go into it and hook up to your, to your trailer. And once you're done, you put all the air back into that trailer, the back end will, will level up and you guys are ready to, to hit the road. Um, as you guys can see right now on this trailer, you do have a way of adjusting that uh, coupler um, to allow a level trailer on the road. So you can see we still have one more drop down to go on this, on this head. So again, if your trailer is not level, you could actually adjust that. Um, and a lot of the trailers we have now does have that adjustment too. So um, if you guys are looking for a package deal like we've done many times in the past, um, the trailers will be leveled on that truck. So you don't have to worry about that. Look at the clearance on the bed. A lot of people are always concerned about the way our trucks are designed and clearance with those trailers. As you guys could see, the way that trailer was designed or most of the trailers now that we have um, is designed that way. So you have tons of clearance, even turning in tight spots you have a lot of clearance on that so that's why we always try to hook up a trailer to our trucks especially our freight liners to actually show you guys what you what you're gonna buy or what you intend to buy um, some people you know kind of on the fence about how those trailers are gonna fit how high our trucks um, um, are and they always want to know you know the level on that so that's why we we put a trailer on our units majority of the time just so to allow our viewers to see exactly what they're gonna be getting themselves into so you don't have to worry about clearance on this trailer it hooks up very easy um, especially with that red dump um, that feature so it's it's super awesome the next thing too underneath this plate we have a 20,000 pound bumper hitch also it does have a seven pin hookup on on that end as well so you don't have to hook up up here um, and underneath this truck like we normally do on all our freight liners we do have that counterweight so when you're not pulling the trailer you have the opportunity to to drive very smoothly and you don't have that light weight in the back of the truck um, so that counterweight is there to to supply that smoother drive and having that back end stay on the road at all times this bed is a little bit different from our regular beds um, as you can see it's all diamond plated um, which gives you a more level playground when it comes to the bed um, we have tons of tie downs um, just in case you guys are not um, hook, um, pulling anything that ball could come out and you do have a bed to to kind of carry a lot of stuff if you see on all four corners you have those heavy-duty um, tie downs and of course on the sides as well our new invention uh, or our new um, tie downs uh, you can see on all four corners they are adjustable so you have tie-in in all <laughs> eight corners of this truck so you have eight tie downs in total so um, when you're not carrying a trailer we remove the ball you have a full level bed and you could carry tons of stuff on here on our summit haulers we do have that voyager camera system um, one is located or uh, one comes with the truck um, the previous owner did add uh, an extra camera and i'll show you guys that when we get inside or when we get to the the front end but uh right here is our seven pin hookup for our trailer this is our voyager camera system two mil input so if you guys decide to put a camera onto this trailer or any of your trailers um, a wire like this will run through and then it will connect to this and then it will show up on the screen um, on inside the cab 
So as we come around, <clears throat> you guys can see another clear view of that camera. Nice and wide camera as well. So when we get inside, you actually see how wide uh, of a view you get. Our death fluid is located on, on this side of the truck. It is a six gallon death tank. And of course we have our other 80 gallon uh, diesel tank located on the passenger side as well. So again, when you guys are filling up at the gas station, remember going to those truck stops, you have those uh, dual uh, pumps. All you gotta do is just, and again, we'll, if you guys are not accustomed to going into truck stops, when you guys do come and purchase this vehicle, we will uh, go down to the, to the uh, station with you guys and kind of go over how to pump um, in one of those truck stops. And of course, for those who are custom of doing that, um, you guys are good to go. But if you want a refresher, we could do that as well. But again, it's all up to you guys. Um, but that's something we do again at um, delivery. And even on a test drive, we will, if somebody wants to know how to do that before they even purchase, uh, we'll go down to the gas station with them. Because on, on delivery, we give you a full tank of gas, well, diesel. Um, so you get 180 gallons before you leave here. So you guys would start your trip um, on a good note um, don't have to worry about stopping for a long time so we do go over all that with you guys so that's just something you know we want to bring to you guys and kind of make it you know um, worthwhile so let's take a look at the, in the interior from the outside as you guys can see we got some brown leather seats with a tan interior this one does come with the entertainment system like most of our trucks it does come with that light system up front on top as well um, tons of USB ports for charging um, in the center console there. Uh, the bench seat does turn down or go flat into a bed and it is certified to be a sleeper. Um, tons of leg room, tons of head room. We got a Kenwood sound system with subwoofer underneath the seat. And of course the front seats for the driver and passenger. They are both air ride seats. They do both come with heated seats as well, heated and cool seats. Nice and clean interior, no scratches, no damages, nothing guys. Um, and again, as you guys can see the layout of that dashboard, when we go inside, I'll uh, kind of explain a little bit more. But that was before we ended up uh, doing the full angle um, dashboard system. Um, this one is more of a flat, like the regular freight liners. But again, you could see the difference in the upgrades on the 2016 to the 2021s we have now. We got two clips on either side of the hood and that just gives you the opportunity to strap down that hood very firmly and not having it to, you know, lift up during uh, transport. So right now, guys, you are looking at the Cummins 8.9 liter engine. It's also partnered with the Allison six-speed automatic transmission, uh, 3200 TRV. And then of course, this engine produces 350 horsepower and 1150 foot-pounds of torque. So 1,150 foot-pounds of torque. As you guys could see, we did do services. We did change all the oils and everything on this truck when it came in. So even though it's low mileage, we still go through the whole <clears throat> safety check and uh, uh, oil change and all that stuff. So you got your radiator fluid, you got your window wiper fluid. On the other end, you got your uh, power steering fluid. And also you, you have your fuel filter, water separator system on this one as well. Nice and clean. Like I said, this is this is like brand new guys, uh, but just a, six, a 2016 model. Um, it does come with hydraulic brakes. Um, our 2021s does have full air brakes, but we still have a lot of people, doesn't matter what brake system they have, um, they're interested in those freight liners. So this one does come with uh, full hydraulic brakes. So for all our hydraulic brake lovers out there, this truck 
does have that. A nice soft close like our normal units. And remember to tie down. Once you open that hood, make sure you tie it on both sides before we're driving off. Another feature that he added onto this truck, the previous owner, he added a camera up front. So uh, that was his preference, uh, way, way he put it, um, and how he wanted it and for the purpose. So that just to, you know, if he's in a tight spot and he's turning, he could see exactly where his front bumper is. Again, and that's your, that's your option as well if you want to keep it the way it is or if you want to remove it or kind of adjust it, um, it, is, it is your choice. But it did come with that camera as well. Three-piece bumper, two hooks, nice grill. And again, if you guys decide to change this grill into our Summit Hauler grill, um, we do have some good contacts with the C9 company. We could uh, have one ordered for you um, at our cost. So. Feel free to mention that to us if you want that. And if you guys are wondering online, you can check out our stock number on this unit. And this unit is 5U210516. And you can go to transwest.com and you guys could enter that stock number. We got photos on there. We got videos on this unit on there. We got the price on there as well. Um, if you guys do decide to finance and stuff, we got a finance application on that website as well. So everything is on there, one-stop shop. And if you guys want to contact us, the number is at the bottom of this as well. Or you could call me at 303-684-3412. Or you could text or call me on my cell at 661-755-4344. I mean, this, this truck just has so much stuff in there. Um, I mean, the dual horns, we got the CB radio antenna already pre-installed. We got the Voyager camera system. We got the air ride seats, three th less than 3,000 miles on there with a 160 gallon diesel tank. This unit is just amazing. And if you guys are interested in this unit, just give us a call today, come on down. Everything is coming back to normal. You know, if you want to wear a mask, you can wear a mask. You know, there's a lot of ease ease on that so um, if you guys do decide you want to wear a mask and you want us to wear one too we could do that as well and remember guys if you are selling a truck out there um, and you want to get rid of it as easy as possible give us a call too um, we do buy and sell trucks so if you are selling your truck and want to have the easiest way to sell just give us a contact we'll give you a bid on that and of course the transaction will be easy 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 so Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Um, you are looking at a 2016 Freightliner Summit Hauler conversion, uh, less than 3,000 miles. So if you guys are interested in this unit, just give us a call today. I will be happy to help you out. We do have great finance and everything. So give us a call and we'll make it happen. Thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you guys back here tomorrow for more videos, more inventory, and of course, great units. Thank you.